Good morning. Um, today we're on the book tour for um, The Abandoned Daughter by um, Mary Wood. Now Mary's a very prolific writer. Um, I have read one of hers before, so I was quite pleased to read another. Um, they're the sort of book you need biscuits, I would say, because um, a huge amount goes on. It's a, it's a relatively thick book. Um, <clears throat> and they're real um, roller coaster books. So um, the main character, I mean, by page eight, I think, uh, she's already been sexually assaulted. So, and that gives you a fair whack of how her life's going to go. So it's real highs and desperate lows and this sort of ever searching backstory as well. So it's quite clever because we know, again, very early on, that she has a slightly mysterious history, family history. And so there's that thread through it. And then there's her current situation. So um, we're in the war and uh, she's a nurse. So there's lots of um, excitement and lots of, um, you know, drama um, from her current life. And then as you follow her through, as I say, fairly early on, you get the sense that she's going to have um, a very dramatic life. Um, it does have, uh, not I, I never do spoilers, but I mean, it does have a, a resolutionary ending. Um, I don't know, it's sort of a happy, sad ending, but, but things go better. Um, so, you know, you don't need to worry that that drama carries on. So there is a, a, there is a bit of a joy at, at light at the end of the tunnel. Um, but it is very, I mean, as I say, you will need biscuits and, and you will need um, potentially to talk about it with someone if any of the issues in this book affect you, that type of thing. Because some of it's a bit harrowing, actually. Um, and it's very... Um, but very fast paced. So you cover a huge amount of um, sort of energy and time in, in the one book. It's the sort of thing it's quite good, if possible, to read fairly quickly because I find with books like this, where there's lots of drama, you sort of need that pace. You need to keep up with it for it to flow well. I think if you kept putting it down, if you just read a couple of pages, put it down and read a couple of pages, I think you would lose that drama. You would, you would lose the sort of passion of, of the writing, um, which would be a friend, uh, um, a, fr a shame. But the only thing about it I struggled with very slightly is that there were a lot of characters in it. Um, and so I, you just, again, if you can read it um, all through, you'll keep them with you much better than if you keep putting it down, because that's when I think I would have struggled had I kept putting it. Uh, luckily, I was able to read it in one go, virtually in one go. Um, um, but I liked that there was um, resolution. I don't like books that leave you hanging too much. Um, and, and I just think Mary Wood is, is just the sort of person who can tell stories. Some of us can and some of us can't. And, and I think she does that very beautifully. Um, it's also, I, I've found the backdrop of the war quite um, very nicely. And not It didn't shy away from the horror and the trauma. There's quite a lot of detail about her work as a nurse. So it, it's not, um, it didn't sort of uh, romanticise the situation of the war or the situation that people found themselves um, during that time. Um, but equally, it wasn't overly graphic or unnecessarily um, gory or anything like that. So I think she covered that very well, which again is quite a, tra a challenging time period um, to write about. Um, and it was quite nice because they travel quite a lot um, around Europe. So... Um, it, I could have done with a map, maybe. Um, but uh, it's, it's, if you like drama um, and if you like to you know, follow that curve of a person's life through the various challenges thrown at them, then this is totally for you. And, and I would, um, it's as good a quality as the other book of hers that I've read, so I'm assuming um, that they're all of that standard. So if you enjoy that type of story, I think you found your person. Um, and I would encourage you to read Mary Wood because um, they are um, very rich, very rich novels um, that really take you in and, and chew you up and then spit you out at the end. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully they all have this type of ending. I can't guarantee that for you. Um, but she's written lots and lots. So, um, as I say, very prolific writer. Um, so I think if you need a new person, if you need a new author, then this might be your, your one. Go enjoy.